Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. My name is Luke Pelletier, and today we're covering the 2007 comedy Evan Almighty. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And, as a disclaimer, this video includes my own personal commentary and analysis. It's not a substitute for the film itself. Links to purchase the film are in the description below. Now, let's get to it. The movie starts off by introducing us to Evan, who's just got a new job as a congressman, so he's moving with his new family. At first, his kids aren't really into it until they get their new house, which looks about as big as the one in Home Alone. That night, when Evan and his wife, Joan, go to bed, she tells him about how she prayed with all of his kids and everything they wanted to pray about. Then she asks him what he'd like to pray about, but he doesn't want to pray about anything and she tells him there's no reason not to. That night, Evan gets out of bed while Joan is sleeping and prays, asking God if he can help him change the world. The next morning, Evan's alarm goes off at 6.14 while he set it for 7. And when he goes out to work, there's a big wooden box in front of his door filled with all kinds of tools, but he just assumes that it was sent to the wrong address. At work, he immediately gets a good opportunity to work on a new bill which means that he won't get to go on a hike with his kids anymore, which he promised them. So he tells them they'll go on a hiking trip on the weekend. The next morning, Evan's alarm goes off at 6.14 again, and when he looks out of his window, there's a truck delivering a bunch of wood to him. So he tries calling the number of the wood company to see what's going on. Then he sees a woman on the TV holding a sign saying Genesis 6.14, and finally connects the dots. So, he looks for a Bible and searches for the verse, which says he should build an ark from gopher wood, which is exactly the type of wood that was just delivered to his porch. When he walks back outside, God is sitting on top of the wood, obviously played by Morgan Freeman. He tells Evan that he wants him to build an ark. Evan walks away, not believing that he's actually God, and goes to work, but on his way there, God keeps showing up as different people. When he gets to work, Evan thinks he's finally free of all the madness, but then the number 614 just keeps showing up. His co-worker's new baby is 6 pounds and 14 ounces, his assistant's new extension is 614, and even his new license plate is Gen 614. That night, when he gets home, he does a little bit of research on Noah and his ark. The next day on his way to work, Evan keeps running into pairs of animals, driving past two dogs, walking past two squirrels, and having two birds poop on his windshield. When he gets to his office, everything gets more and more crazy when tons of different kinds of birds fly in, making a complete mess of the joint. He runs over back home, but when he gets in his car, there's a pair of spiders, two sheep, and even snakes waiting for him. He gets all of the animals out of his car and races home with them still following. When he gets home, he's surrounded by animals and God shows up again telling him that he's been chosen to build the next ark, and he gives him a building an ark for dummies book. He starts reading the book and the next morning when he awakes, he's got a full grown beard. When he tries to shave it off, it returns as soon as he looks back in the mirror. Afterwards, the realtor he bought his house from shows up at his door congratulating him for the eight pieces of land he bought next to his house. His wife freaks out, thinking that he's going through a midlife crisis, which obviously it looks as such, but Evan tells her it's not that bad, and that he really thinks he needs to build a boat. Obviously, she doesn't take this as a step in the right direction, she just thinks he's crazy, but she decides to go along with it. So he gathers his sons, and they start their building process, which starts off with a montage of Evan messing up in every way possible. About a week passes, and Evan's hair has kept growing longer and longer, but the Ark isn't really getting there. So Evan's sons say they need some kind of machine to work faster and lift stuff. And just as they say that, a big wooden crane appears with a note saying, Ask, and you shall receive. Some time passes, and the ark is actually starting to come along. After a while, Evan has Noah's look down to his science, so Joan starts to get worried and asks him what is going on. He tells her about how he needs to build an ark, and that he's basically Noah 2.0. But she doesn't believe him, and tells him that he's scaring her. Alright, if you've made it this far, you're kicking back and enjoying the video. 
now would be a great time to subscribe to Flix Recap. Subscribing is absolutely free, and it helps me bring you even more dope content. Okay, plug over. Back to the recap. The next morning, Evan does his best to go to work looking professional again. So he puts on a suit, braids his beard, and puts some product in his hair. But as soon as he walks out of the door, all of his clothes disappear, and he's totally naked. So he puts his robe on again and wears the suit over it. Now he looks like the Hulk wearing a suit. When he gets to work, he's on television being presented as a new congressman. And when his name is called, he stands up, his suit disappears again, and he's back to his full Noah getup. Then a bunch of animals get in and he tells everyone in the room and watching on TV that it's all happening because God told him to build an ark. When Evan gets back home, his wife and kids are there with packed bags ready to leave to Joan's parents' house. He tries to stop them, but Joan tells him she thinks he needs help, and they leave. Evan continues building his ark and is now international news. There's always a crowd looking at him from a distance, and news reporters are filming him 24-7. We cut to Joan sitting in a cafe with the kids who are missing their dad. And when they go to the bathroom, God has a talk with Joan without telling her it's him, and he tells her about how important it was for Noah in the Bible that his family stuck with him. So she decides to take the kids and go back to Evan. When they get back, he basically is transformed into Gandalf the White. With a long white beard and white hair, he hugs his kids, kisses his wife, and then she tells him how he's in violation of a bunch of rules. So if he doesn't figure it out, the city will take it down on the 22nd, which is supposed to be the day of the flood. So they all work to get the Ark done in time and even get help from the animals. On the 22nd, the Ark is finally done and all of the animals board the Ark themselves. Then the police show up to destroy the boat, but just before Evan and his family get out, a huge cloud covers the whole city, and all of a sudden, everyone starts getting a little nervous. But everyone still ignores Evan, who's saying they should get on the Ark. Then the rain stops, and everyone laughs at Evan again, until he realizes that there's not going to be a storm, but the dam stopping the river is about to break. When it does, everyone panics, and all of a the sudden they all run to get on the Ark, which ends up saving everyone. The flood destroys a large part of the city until the Ark stops it running into City Hall. This proves to everybody that Evan was right all along, and he saved hundreds of lives. Suddenly there's a rainbow, and Evan and his family can finally go on their hiking trip. This is when Evan meets God again, telling him he's proud of him and that he changed the world by one act of random kindness, Ark. And then they do their dance, and the film ends. But what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you dug the video, be sure to drop a like, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next breakdown. Until next time.